What's up chicas? Welcome back to my channel. I have to say thank you to all those new subscribers. Thank you for all your comments. First off, on my previous video, which it was um, on my Jan Beauty swag bag and giveaways. Um, I know it's pretty a long video, but I gotta say thank you guys for all the comments. Believe me, I have read through all single one of the comments you guys has uh, comment on my video. And if you're just tuning in, you're new to my channel, um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. You want to be part of my YouTube family because you guys are amazeballs and I love you guys. Every single one of you guys, I love, 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 love. Thank you guys because without you guys, I would not be recording videos for you guys because if you guys don't like it, then I would just quit and be like, you know what, YouTube's not for me. But you guys have shown support after support after support, love after love. And all I got to say is thank you guys and I will definitely be doing more giveaways because you guys deserve for me to give back to you more than what I've done because I haven't done shit for you guys like really I haven't so <laughs> but thank you guys so uh, this video is my September favorites and again you guys know that I don't like doing uh, favorites but this month I have pretty amazing products and new things that I added to my makeup um, collection things that I bought fashion wise um, stationery and skincare and I thought I will share with you guys because I really wanted to share with you guys things that I have been loving so um I'm going to jump into this video because I have quite a lot of products that I want to share with you guys. And you guys already gave you guys a 27 minute long video. I'm not going to do the same on this one. So I have pretty amazing things. Fashion, stationery, makeup, skincare, hair care. So if you guys want to know what products I have been loving for the month of September, all you got to do is grab a snack and keep watching. Um, first thing is for hair care. I have my hair really damaged, you guys can see. I have been loving this Total Repair Multi Reserve Dry Oil. I see that it actually made my ends look a lot better than what they used to look before. What I do is I apply this onto my hands. I spray it onto my hands like three sprays. And then I work on my roots. My roots. <laughs> I work on my ends. And I have to say that I am noticing a big difference on my ends. They are not as dry as they used to be. They're very soft. And you can see that it looks a lot more healthier. So if you guys, um, some of you guys have been wondering, oh, I love your hair. You have beautiful hair. It looks very shiny. It looks very um, healthy. Um, I got to give props to the L'Oreal um, Multi Restore Dry Oil. This thing right here has saved me uh, my lifetime of beautiful hair. What? Is that even a word? Whatever. <laughs> so the next thing moving on is for skin. If you guys know I obsess about um, sunless tanning. And I tried pretty much many sunless tanning out there. Right now I'm trying the San Tropez. I've heard a lot of amazing things about San Tropez. The only reason why I never got to buy San Tropez was because it's quite pricey. But I have to say I have been loving the San Tropez. I'm using the Self Tan Express 1 Hour Tan. And I see that it develops after 6 to 8 hours to a fully dark tan, which I love. And the fact that I can shower after, like I can shower for, I still shower and like the third day I still have quite some color. Not as intense as the first day, but um, with my Corora Cosmetics, I used to see that I would shower and it would go away. Why is that? Why does that happen? But with this, I actually have seen that I wash it off. And it gives me a nice tan and then two, three days later I still have a very gradual tan. And I can reapply or I can just go with it because I don't look as pale as I am. But I have been loving the San Tropez um, one hour self tan. For face, this is a total new video that is coming out for you guys next week. This is my, um, this I got sent over and this is the mini, whoa, I just jacked it up. <laughs> this I got sent over about two weeks ago and I'm supposed to be doing a video on it but... I haven't gotten around to do it. It's my skincare routine video. You guys know I have very dry, sensitive skin. Um, the other day I applied moisturizer with the San Tropez to go ahead and tan my face because most of you guys get scared when I do makeup tutorials because my body is darker than my face. Because I do that because I'm very, very sensitive. Anything I wear on my face, I break out. Let me tell you, little did I wear that. Probably three hours later, my face was broken in, like, my face broke out in, like, big red bumps all over here. And I still have some. So, like, I was so mad. I'm like, why did I do it? Why did I do it? <laughs> you guys peer, me, peer pressure me to do it. Because I felt bad. But you guys were saying, why is your face lighter than your skin, than your body? It's because of that. I can't not tan my face whatsoever. So, I've been using this thing right here. And this is the Mini Pro Facial Cleansing Brush. Um, I am not a 
I'm not a fan of these of the microdermabrasions and stuff like that because my skin is so sensitive that I was very scared. But when I came across this campaign, it said that it was for dry sensitive for sensitive skin. I was like, you know what? I'm going to give it a try. And I have to tell you, ladies, uh, something. I have seen a huge difference on my skin ever since I started using this product right here. I got it and I was supposed to do the video like a week after. But I said, you know what? I'm really going to give this a try for a couple of weeks for me to, in order to show you guys exactly if it's really good or if it's not. So moving on to makeup. I have this little box here full of makeup and I'm going to go through it very quickly to get to you guys to get to the other things I want to share with you guys. So I'm bringing out my Lorac Mega Pro palette. Then one, the one that came out last year. I love this palette. It's excellent colors for now for fall. I just, um... Did my makeup pretty much with the burgundies that I have, the burgundies that I always wear on my face when it comes to makeup, you guys are going to see that it's coming out of the Lorac Mega Pro Palette because I am obsessed with these colors and I'm actually going to experiment with other colors. You guys already know what it looks like and how it is. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be talking about it because I know it's a limited edition. The two came out, this one's gone. But I did get a close up to the Lorac Mega Pro 2. And I gotta say, I'm in love with the colors. It has so many warm colors. And I just loved it. The other things I've been loving, um, they are the Makeup Forever HD Ultra. The Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundations. Oh my god, I, I was... The first foundation that I tried um, high-end was the Makeup Forever um, foundation, the HD foundation. But this Ultra HD foundation has like captivated my heart. I absolutely love it. It gives me a medium to full coverage. It's definitely buildable. And I love the fact that it covers so well. And it blends easily to your skin and it looks flawless. Um, it is pricey. I think it runs for $43. But I think you get what you're paying here because it is absolutely amazing. I have not seen any flashbacks or any... Really, Francis? What the hell? I have not seen any flashbacks or anything like that when I'm actually recording or taking pictures. I think my pictures come out looking very beautiful and I absolutely love, love the finish to that foundation. And the other thing I've been loving, you guys know, um, I've been, st I've actually stuck to the L'Oreal Use Coat Pore Banisher. Um, I find it that it covers my, that it actually fills in my pores and you can barely see my pores when I'm, um, I'm applying makeup or anything like that. And I gotta give it to this primer right here. It's a drugstore, so it's pretty on the affordable side. The other thing that I can't live without, ladies, you guys know that my black, uh, my under eyes are literally black as my hair. I have so much dark under eyes, not even funny. I know this is her hereditary, so I'm not going to fight it. I'm not going to put creams here and there to brighten up my eyes because it's something that it comes from my family. I just have to learn to live with it, and when I'm applying makeup, learn how to hide it. And I have learned many techniques uh, how to hide my dark circles, and one of the things that I use is the NYX Star Circle Concealer Corrector, and the color that I use is the 030, which is one of the darker um, color. Because it's so dark, I want more orangey pigments on my under eyes, so it actually uh, kills all the blue um all the blue all the bluish that is under my dark circles and definitely this does it I highly recommend the NYX it runs for about $5.99 I will say at any Ulta or Target store you can find it I highly 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 recommend it's one of my holy girl products the other thing I've been trying and I've been loving is this um beauty blender sponge makeup sponge by real techniques it runs for five dollars also and i think it does the same job that the beauty blender but of course more than half the price of the beauty blender and i highly recommend um beauty blenders because i mean your makeup looks completely flawless when you um, apply your foundation with it and also use it for your concealer it's just amazing the other thing i have been loving i for not for fall is this mac um it's the desert rose blush i think it's a perfect uh, pink mauvey color now for um, fall it just perfect goes perfectly with all my lips liquid lip stains that I have they're kind of like a burgundy color I just love love how beautiful and pigmented this blush is the other two things the other two things the other two things I've been obsessing with girls it's the drawer cosmetics um highlighting highlighters I am obsessing with these um, I received the Audrey and the Lucy Audrey is that champagne color um golden color type of thing and then the audrey is that uh i would say cor not coral but that copper color um comes uh highlight i use this as my uh, highlight also i use it for um as a eyeshadow because i love the color payoff that it has 
and I've been obsessing with these things. The packaging on these are super, super gorgeous. I highly recommend these um, uh, illumi highlighting powders. Is the an NYX or NYX color correcting palette, and this palette also has pretty much the, the one that is for the under eyes, but it's not as uh, salmony color as the correcting. All I use is that green one up here. This green helps me um, kill all the redness on my skin because since I broke out because of the tanning on my face, my face is getting a little irritated, and because I'm applying makeup more constantly, more frequently, now um, my face doesn't get a break. So. I have very reddish all over here, so what I do is I apply my primer, and then I apply that greenish color, and the greenish color just called corrects, kills all the redness on my skin. So if you have like redness in your skin, and you're like, oh my god, I hate it, it still kind of shows through my makeup, I can't cover it, color correct your face. Like, you don't see it much here on YouTube, people just go from primer and they jump into the foundation. But color correcting your face will definitely do a huge difference on your makeup. I have definitely learned it. I don't color correct my face all the time. You don't see me with the green, with the peachy, and then with the um, purple and whatever. No, I color correct my face when I'm either going to be recording or um, I, the redness is just like oh, out there. Now, I do correct my under eyes all the time. Like, I don't not negotiate with not correcting my under eyes because it's just crazy. I have been loving also this Sigma palette. This one is the Sigma Warm Neutral. The colors are to die for people. Like seriously, look how beautiful these colors are. I love, love, love. It has amazing colors now for fall. My next tutorial is all going to be on this palette right here because I was able to pull out at least two easy, amazing follows from this palette. So stay tuned for that because this palette is just amazing. This palette is to die for. My concealer. Um, this concealer, I actually um, came across it at the um, at the drugstore, and I said, you know what, let me try it. And this is the Maybelline uh, Super Stay Better Skin um, Concealer, and I have to say, I have been loving this concealer. It's not like a concealer, and you can use it as a highlight. It's just pretty much helps me conceal my under eyes. Super, super good, and I absolutely love it. And the color I am is a 30, which is their light medium. You say light medium? Yeah, light medium. Then the other things are pretty much lit products I wanted to share with you guys. Um, this right here is the Booster Pen by Whiten Lining. I love this thing right here. I wear it every single day. You say every single day, for instance? Yes, every single day <laughs> before I leave the house. All I gotta do is dry my teeth, apply the little brush um, has the, the um, product, and all I do is paint my teeth, leave my teeth, my mouth open for 60 seconds, and just pretty much spit out whatever is on my mouth, <laughs> um, rinse it and walk out the door and it helps make my teeth a lot wider and brighter. The other things are these um, uh, lipsticks. <sighs> Finally I found the Fergie, Fergie, Fergie. Um, these are the lip, lip, the matte, okay, velvet matte lip color, wet and wild, the Fergie, 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 -lish, Fergie edition. <laughs> God, I can't talk right now. I still have that New York accent, you know, with the mascara and the coffee and all that, you know. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so I came across the two that I really want to try. This one is like a burgundy color, um, and then this one is like that nude color. They don't have like a lot of pigmentation, but I just think that if you're trying to um, apply a pop of color but not do it too drastic, I think these are perfect. And um, they're just matte. I love matte colors. So then the other one are from NYX, and I finally came across them, and I wanted to really try them. Again, I kind of got the same colors as the Fergie one, because this is what I like. I like nude and that deep a burgundy color now for fall. This one right here is the 07. I'm just going to call it by the name, because I really, I'm by the number, because I really can't see it. It's, I think it's called Sand, Sandstorm. This one's called Sandstorm. And then this one is called, which is like a pretty deep a burgundy, it's called Soft Spoken. Soft Spoken and uh, Sandstorm are my two colors that I picked out. These are the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. I love them. I really, really do love them. I'm not going to lie to you. They're really good and they're on the affordable side. And the other one that I'm wearing that I used on my makeup tutorial is the Sephora um, Nude Lip Taint. I'm sorry, the Sephora Lip Taint. Why can't I talk? The Sephora Lip Stain um, Lipstick. And this is the color Marvelous Moth. So I'm really glad I bought it because it's a beautiful, as you guys can see, a beautiful matte, mauve burgundy 
color. I absolutely love it. It's the one I wear and I, the one I will be wearing for a long time now in fall. So that is for makeup. The other thing is a stationery. I want to share with you guys. There's this girl that I follow on Instagram and her name is Mel Melly Melcy Illustration. Her name is Melcy Illustrations, and I'm going to put her information down here. She does the most amazing fashion illustrations. Oh, my God, to die for. She also has an Etsy shop where you can purchase these things. And I went to Marshall's just to buy her, this notebook. She's actually starting to... Um, sell her stuff at Marshalls so I was able to pick up at least one notebook and I just think it's amazing I like supporting people who are um who are trying to build their empire build their brand and when they have amazing talent I gotta give it to them so I'm gonna leave her information down below if you like it fashion illustration she has the most beautiful pictures I have ever come across the website like I come I came across Instagram because they are beautiful amazing like this girl no doubt is like a true artist and i've been in love with this notebook i got it, it was like 3.99 at marshall's and i just think it's so pretty i have all my ideas for my videos and pretty much my to-do list and everything is in here and i can carry with me in my purse because it's a perfect size the, now the agenda that i've been using the planner that i've been using is the day designer but the one that you find at target i have my kate spade i have my um kiki k and I have to purchase, I want to purchase the Erin Condra and I haven't purchased yet because I actually came across this one at Target and I gave it a try. And I got to tell you guys, I am in love with it. It's not heavy at all. It's quite big so I cannot carry with me in my purse. I leave it at home. But I got to show you guys the inside of the planner. It's pretty big. The places where you can put the, like, the monthly view, it's quite big where you can write as you guys can see. And I absolutely love it. And I'm going to show you real quick the weekly view. The weekly view is exactly how um, an Erin Condren uh, weekly view will be, which is going down. So it gives me more space to dot, dot, jot down a specific like, things that I'm doing during the day, what I'm cooking at night, and all that. It gives me pretty much awesome space. I absolutely love it. I love the fact that it's not heavy, but it's quite big, so you cannot take it with you. Um, I was told that... The day designer that you used to buy online was a lot bulkier, was a lot thicker. It had more things in it. But the one that they did for Target is just pretty much monthly and weekly views and that's it. It doesn't have more things to it. And I love it. Um, there is black and white and there is the white and gold one. And it, they have it smaller. But I saw the smaller after I bought this one and I'm like, really? Buy another planner? No. So these two things I have been loving. This one's for Marshall from Melcy Illustrations. I'm going to leave her information down below. And then the day designer was $10 at Target. So I was pretty excited and stoked about that. Now for fashion, because I'm going to start incorporating fashion into my favorites because I want to share with you guys. I love fall. Like fall is one of my favorite freaking stations of the year because you can wear, so you can start wearing boots, you can start wearing this long sleeve and just that Deep colors, I love. Like that hunter green, that burgundy, that khaki colors. I just love. So I want to share with you guys these two cardigans that I got. One of them I got at um, Forever One of them I got at Forever 21, which is this one right here, which is pretty much a very long one. You guys can see it's just pretty much a long cardigan. Very, very long. Very long. And it's that hunter green. Um, I have a picture on my Instagram. With this cardigan, it was the last picture that I took, and I have it on. So the other one I wore um, that I've actually been loving is this one. I got this one at Charlotte Ruse. It's the same thing, but instead of having um, like sleeves, it's sleeveless. So if you're wearing like a long sleeve or whatever, I think this would be awesome. It has some pockets on the side. I love cardigans. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, these two, sh um, this, the, the other ones are shoes. This one I got at the mall, and they're just little booties. These booties are like so comfortable and I absolutely love, love, love. I wear them with jeans, I wear them with leggings, I wear them with shorts. They're just super, super comfortable and I just love, love, love these booties. So these are the combat boots and usually they come like a like a medium size, but I got these ones. There was a lot there was a taller one, but then I kind of didn't want it to go overboard. So these also I paired them with the cardigan. That picture is on my Instagram so you guys can see how it looks. These ones I got a Burlington um style. Burlington Coat Factory and I was amazed how many like good shoes they had there like I usually go to TJ Maxx, Marshalls or Ross and then when I went to Burlington with my mom I saw these things and I was like 
I must, I must own you in my life. So then the other shoes um, I got at Charlotte Ruth, and these are the these are were for my birthday, so they are in my birthday outfit with my um, dress. These are like burgundy heels, and they have like that the straps and then a little lace on top. These are super super cute. I absolutely love the color, and they're a little uncomfortable, so I try not to wear them when I'm going to walk a lot. But I just think they're really, really, really pretty. And I love these shoes. I got my shot a lot of So this is it. This is all my favorites. I had a little bit of everything and I really wanted to share with you guys. I was pretty excited about these monthly favorites. So as usual, tell me fashion-wise. What have you been loving? Like you say, Francis, for fall, you must have this accessory. Or you must have this shoes or you must have this scarf. Let me know on the comments below because I want to know what your favorites for the month of September has been. Because I do see you and I do take from you guys. I love you guys. Your support means the world to me. You guys are amazing balls. You guys don't even know how happy you guys make me. And thank you so much for sticking to the end. Mm -hmm. Be blessed, precious pearls. I'll see you girls on my next video. Bye.